Good morning. What's funny? Pardon? Yeah, I mean, it's so, alright. Jade and I wanted to film this intro because we've literally got people coming in 20 minutes. And so, so our first, I get the camera out, get it ready. She starts filling the tap. I fill in the sink up with, on the tap. She's like, right, I'm done in a minute. And then, right, I'm done. So I start to go to start to do it. She starts filling the kettle up. And I'm like, right, okay, she's finished filling the kettle up. And now she's put the kettle on. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, the ridiculously full kettle is now boiled. So hello. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name's Lucy, if you are new here. Um, today, you wouldn't think it, because the weather is absolutely shocking. And I mean shocking. We're having our garden done. So I actually don't have a clue what's happening with this garden. Jade's pretty much overseen it all. Ain't got a clue, so you know what? It's going to be a surprise for me and you. So we will uh, see about that one, shall we? <laughs> Um, I just wanted to quickly mention at the start of this video as well, just in case any of you guys just skip through or whatever. I just wanted you to guys to let me know anything that you'd like to see from me, from me on Jade, like video wise, like any different challenges, any different kind of get to know us kind of videos, some hauls, literally just let me know anything that you'd like to see and we'll see what we can do. And yes, that is Jade brushing her teeth now in the background. Um, Honestly, no respect. Well, right? hey Kendall, yeah, even she agrees. Honestly, I think Jay's just out to sabotage me completely. So yes, I'm going to show you the before of our garden. Please ignore the fences. We need new fences. We're just not there yet with the fences, but the rest of the garden should be pretty transformed. So I'm just going to take you and show you the garden before the guys get here so this is kind of our like DIY bordering that we did and I mean as you can tell we are no gardeners absolutely shocking our grass is dead from the igloo <laughs> come on summer we need you this hideous shed that was here when we moved in that's going and we're getting like a, a actual like wooden shed and it's basically the same on the other side. This here is a outdoor rug that I got to go with this table. When Jade was mowing the grass in summer, she mowed over it and absolutely ruined it. So um, that's going in the bin. Oh, Kendall, do you want to say hi? Kendall. She says morning. So yeah, I think we're basically getting all this bordering redone. And then... If you can't you can't tell on camera but our garden actually slopes so this back bit isn't actually straight it kind of slopes inwards so we get getting this like squared off as much as possible with like bordering i think honestly this is literally just me guessing because i wasn't here when jay do dealt with it i don't really like gardens to be honest I don't like gardening so this is all jade's little baby so yeah and then all this got bordering redone so I'll be surprised for you and me, so I'll update you when we're done. Just gonna go brush my teeth. Disgusting, I haven't had it done yet. And um may as well just bring you along on our day, to be honest. Not really sure what we're doing. I feel like I'm zoomed in. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we're doing today. Um the weather's pretty crap. Probably just show you what we're doing. Like I say, probably nothing too exciting. See you in a bit. So um Cats are acting out, they're intrigued. <laughs> Scared, I don't know what, what, yep. Garden started. It's bacon sandwich time. Mm. So obsessed with this bacon at the minute, it's so nice. We'll show you what one we're having in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's so, so good, 100% recommend it. Genuinely, I was like, I woke up thinking about this bacon sandwich. And Jade was like, if you have a bacon sandwich? I was like, I thought you'd never ask, to be honest. I was waiting for you to write, I'd wait for you to say it to be honest because I'm so ready. So this is the bacon that we have 
tried. Um, this is the one that we get from Tesco. It's very similar, isn't it, Jade, to the one from M&S? Yes. Um, basically, if you want it crispy, it just ends up going quite hard. So just be aware that if you're a crispy baker kind of gal, it's more harder in texture. It's not very nice, and I don't think. Um, but we've really enjoyed this one. Yeah. We've had the This brand, and we do like that one. It's just completely different to this. Like, yeah. They're both very different. I was saying to Lucy, this reminds me of um, bacon frazzles. Yeah, yeah frazzles. Them, yeah, it smells like them as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we've been really enjoying this one, so we're just going to cook some of this up now. Um, yeah, we'll show you when it's ready, I guess. Oh, and also you get loads of slices. I think you get like ten, whereas like in a normal pack of bacon, you probably get like five slices. So it's actually like really good value for money, I think. Just look at that sizzle, honestly. This looks so real. I mean, my camera skills are too busy looking at the bacon. I was like, oh yeah, look at that bacon. <laughs> So good. Mmm. When do you want to go with it? Don't mind whenever. Okay. Tommy K ready on the bread. Jade ready for a sandwich. <laughs> Me ready for a sandwich. <laughs> it just doesn't really get much better than that, does it, really? To be honest, like, is that even going to be enough? Like, am I even going to be filled up after this? Probably not. <laughs> Jade really wants to have coriander, which is our local Indian takeaway tonight, because we've got the gusto Thai tofu, and I don't actually like Thai curries, um, and I don't know who ordered it, because we had one accidentally last week, and I, like I didn't like I didn't like it at all. I like, I left it. Jade ate it, but she said she didn't really enjoy it. Um, so we're both a bit like. Pfft. You know, you're not looking forward to it, so you're thinking of like something super that? yummy that you can actually have. So, watch this space, you know, we may be having a curry. Hmm. Curry. Excuse the kettle. That was yummy. <laughs> Absolutely wasn't enough. It's so nice. <sighs> Try that bacon. If you've never tried it, give it a try. It's so, so good. Now I'm just gonna make a coffee. I'm gonna have myself a Pike Place. Jade's gonna have herself a Colombian. One of these, one of these. Same for his own brand, Starbucks ones. So we've just been told we need to go get some membrane from B and Q for the gardeners. We were both like, what the flipping heck is that? I had no idea what oh, it was. It turns out I was great. right what it is. Jay was like, what is that? <laughs> and I was like, I think it's the stuff you put underneath your stones to stop like weeds coming through. And it is. So we need to go and get some of that. However, we know what is next to B and Q. Starbucks. Mm -mm -mm. Watch this space. Sorry for the abrupt ending of filming. <laughs> um, I was dancing around in the... Um, guys came in front of the garden and I was I've got a bit awkward because I don't want to see me dancing on camera and they'll literally be like what the hell is she doing <laughs> not quite mastered the whole filming around people yet so they're nice guys aren't they yeah they're lovely guys but if you see me like in random rooms of the house today it's because <laughs> I'm trying to hide from them <laughs> I used to work with uh, Tom um, and Scott joined the place where we were later on so I don't know Scott overly well but I know Tom I've grew up with Tom it's his business but we'll attach the information if that's alright with you alright then um, so yeah, we just have to be in queue now to get some membrane. And then we were like, oh, we'll go Starbucks. Jade said, Jade asked the guy, Tom, if you wanted anything from Starbucks. And he said, oh, if you go in, I'm into caramel at the minute. So can I have a caramel frappuccino? And I was like, yes, we're definitely going to Starbucks because he wants one. Did you say salted caramel? Salted caramel, but if it's not salted caramel, he's not overly bothered. Is in, in a bit of a caramel face? Yeah, so... Um, just means we're definitely going, so I'm absolutely buzzing. You know what we're we gonna do with our coffees? Um, <laughs> yeah, we literally just made a coffee, like I showed you, and then he came in and was like, "Oh, would you be able to pop out now and get some membrane?" And we were like, "Yeah." So we just put a plate over the coffees, to try and keep them warm. But then obviously now we're going to Starbucks, so. So we have to have coffee. Well. To be fair, if they go cold, I can drink them cold. We'll figure out. There's no drums. But yes, anyway. Buzzing. See you soon. 
just a, just had a quick little Google about what we're actually looking for. <laughs> we know what we're looking for. We know what it is. And you know what? Being cute, top notch. I mean, I'm going to say this now, and it won't. It'll be wrong. Right. But it's told us it's aisle 59. 59. 59. There's 59 aisles and being cute. Uh, yeah, it's massive. Look, it's cross spread across two sides. But yes, aisle 59. So you know what? There's no way to go wrong here unless the line tours. Unless it's all sold out. But that's actually really handy though. It's a great little feature because for people like us who are like complete novices who don't who have been told to buy something we don't know what it is, it tells you the exact aisle. Win win. Mm -hmm. So hopefully, guys, it's gonna be in and out with our membrane. <laughs> As it's called. I thought it was called weed stopper. <laughs> Here she is, the membrane. <laughs> Honestly, easiest B and Q ride ever. Straight to it outside, and it Done. was on aisle fifty nine. It was on aisle fifty nine. Absolutely smashed it. We did have to phone Tom though because it's about five different times. We didn't answer, so we've just gone for it. Just guessed. I mean, it's probably gonna be wrong, but hey ho. I don't know if you can see it, but probably would definitely couldn't see it actually. Oh, there she is. Look. Starbucks opposite being cute. Holy moly, look at that. You can take your hand away if you like. Look at that. This isn't ours, by the way. I wish it was. Look <laughs> at that. Jade's latte. I've treated myself to a cheeky blonde roast vanilla iced latte. You know, we're coming into spring now. It's uh, got to get them uh, cold ones. Ice latte time. <laughs> and I'm so excited about it. And it's not got above nine degrees, but yeah, get the, get the cold drinks out. Absolutely, literally, got to be done. So, um, yeah, just going home with these now. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to use from the footage before because it was absolutely shocking camera footage. <laughs> this is my iced latte with blonde roast and some vanilla syrup. She was, she was, she was very upselling on the syrups, on the cakes, on <laughs> everything. <laughs> Jade has gone for a blonde roast latte. Soy milk. Soy milk. And then this is Tom's. I'm, I was literally saying to Jade on the way in, I just really wanted to lick the top of that. <laughs> you know, it's probably a good job that I am vegan because I probably would have, I'm not gonna lie. So, um, look at that. Absolute bad boy! It's cute. I've never seen something so massive in my life. Oh. Mm -hmm. That iced latte was a really bad idea. Got a bit, um. Oh my god. Got a bit. <laughs> A bit premature with the um, iced coffee, I think. Still only February, and I'm now underneath the blanket, absolutely freezing, <laughs> literally freezing. Jumping. What have you done, Jade? <laughs> Bear with. So I walk in the kitchen, and Jade has literally spilled unstoppables all on the floor. <laughs> they were all on the side because she was trying to get the lid off. Let's get sweeping, Jade. Okay. There's probably socks in really here. So just I'll kidding. I'll do it. So, I just wanted to tell you, the sticky toffee pudding from Tesco, the wicked one, this one here, um, amazing. I didn't have high hopes for it, actually. I, I was a little bit nervous. Um, insane. Really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Had it with some vanilla ice cream last night, honestly. 10 out of 10, I'd 100% buy it again. I'll just show it you in the fridge if we've had some left. Um, this is it. And I actually can't wait to have some later. So I'm having one of them afternoons where because we're kind of in because of the garden being done, I'm cold, I've got the blanket on. I can feel myself going to sleep. And I don't want to go to sleep because I won't sleep tonight. So I think I'm going to dye my eyebrows. <laughs> I've had this for quite a while now. So yeah, this is the Eyelure Dye Brow. Um, loads of people, I've seen loads of people use this. Loads of people have it. Um, but yeah, like I say, I really like it. Do ignore this on my hand. It's a blood blister. I got it at work the other day. So I'm just aware that all you can see is that in the shot. It's like, oh, dye brow, oh, blood blister. So yeah, I'm gonna do this with you now. So here is the before. 
get some better lighting going on here. Whoa. So yes, here is the before. And I'll show you after. So I'm just going to show you how I actually mix it up. So we'll go into the bathroom. Do, do, do. Honestly, Jade, Jade today just keeps on shouting. is still here from when I washed my brushes the other day. So. Oh, hey. <laughs> so in the kit you get your spoolie, your dye, and the activator. Um, unlike most dies always make sure you do a patch test so important oh this isn't an ad by the way it's just like it <laughs> um i always have to read the instructions i always feel like it's the best thing to do before i do something like this because i always forget how much you need of each thing so it's two centimeters of dye and five drops of the activating solution so, let's do this. And Jay just come to watch me. Hello, are you okay? No, I've not. I've, I've come to you to get you to listen to the washing machine. Bear with, Jay just wants me to listen to the washing machine, which... Doesn't sound good. Isn't a good sign because this washing machine isn't very old. Because no. I broke our last one. Now. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully the washing machine's alright. It's just making a bit of a high-pitched noise. Who knows? Oh my god, I've just spilled it here. Oh my god. So here we have... So it comes in this little plastic thing and then you've got this little circle bit. So two centimetres... I'll never actually know two centimetres... of dye. And then five drops of this. Oh, that was five and a half, six. <laughs> Honestly, it's just fucking guesswork for me. And it starts to make this kind of thick mixture. I never actually use all of this. So I'd say that's pretty mixed in. I'm just going to go ahead and apply it. So I'm just going to go and grab my mirror and I'll show you how I put it on. Okay, so I've got my mirror and I've also got my spoolie that I use to brush my eyebrows when I do them. So I just like to brush my eyebrows out so I know the kind of shape that I'm going for. So yeah, it doesn't take long. Just brush them out and then kind of just start applying. Just get a little bit on the spoolie. It does say to kind of like apply like um, Vaseline or something. It's like a barrier around the outside to stop you kind of like dyeing your face. However, I don't do that. I like to live life on the edge. <laughs> live for taking risks. I actually brought this eyebrow kit off ASOS. They have quite the beauty range on there now. So I actually bought it off there. God, I think it was last lockdown actually, like the first lockdown we had a year ago. So that's that eyebrow done. You can see. And then I'm just gonna go for the other one. quite just like slap dash with this kind of process I'm not very sorry and I don't really I'm quite open to how it comes out because I feel like if it goes wrong you just scrub at your eyebrows and you're all good 
Now, like I say, because I don't want them too dark, I tend to leave it on for about five minutes. I think it says about ten minutes. Um, if you want like a really dark coverage, but I don't. So yeah, I'll leave this on for, like I say, five minutes. This is it now. And then I'll show you when it's time to wash it off. Okay, so timer has finished. By the time I finished speaking, I actually set the timer for four minutes. Um, so I've just got myself a little cloth, a little reusable cloth, and some micellar cleaning water, cleansing water, and I just remove it that way. I find it's the most efficient, easiest way of doing it. So I've just got my micellar water on my cloth and I just rub over it. So, that is done. In literally 10 minutes, it's taken just to dye my brows. And just during lockdown, make myself feel that little bit better. Yeah, anyone interested, I will link this in the description box below so in case anybody else would like to have a go. I do believe they do it in brown, or I think it's dark brown. Um, I'm not sure if they do it like a blondy colour. Um, I'm not sure how well that would probably show up if they did. But yeah, I haven't done this in ages, so I just thought, got a bit of free time. I'll dye my brows and I'll show you guys. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. I'm just going to um, give it a bit of a gel in it. And we're done. Two transformations in one day. Eyebrows. <laughs> and the garden. It's done. It's only ten past one. And they're finished. So this is the first part of the transformation complete. Obviously this is just the kind of important bit. And then in springtime we're going to actually decorate the garden. So we need to figure out what we want to do with the fences. We need to get some like pots and um, some plants and stuff so and we've got to build our shed stay tuned for that because that's going to be interesting the guys that just came didn't have much faith in us building a shed so we should look so i'm going to show you the garden now what we've just had done um and talk you through what our future plans are so here is our bordering so as you can see they're like squared off the garden so it's now like basically square on and it, you can kind of see how the brick wall kind of slanted in a bit more now and then we've got the bordering up that side our grass is now absolutely destroyed we do have a company come out um, once every few months and they treat our lawn so this should be back to normal in no time just need a bit of sun so yeah this is the bordering that we've had done shed's gone so we've just got all this grass area, so I'm thinking a bit of a smallish tree in this corner. Jade wants a water feature as well, so we're not sure where we're going to put that yet. Because she wants a solar powered one, so we need to find like the prime spot for sun. Here we have our garden. Next stage of the transformation will be coming in the next few months, right Jade? Yes. Stay tuned. So yeah, thanks Tiny Tom's Landscaping. I will link it below for anyone interested. Time for a snack. We've got these deliciously Ella veggie crackers. These are the sea salt, black pepper and olive oil ones. So I had the sweet potato ones. And sweet potato and thyme, they were really nice. And I've had these ones before. Um, I do really like these ones though. And there's some good old hummus. Obviously a big pot of hummus because got to be done. Yeah. And some water. And Jade and Arudi. Hello. And a bit of pretty little liars. Had to pause it because last time we had it in the background, we got copyrighted. <laughs> Can you believe it? It was well loud though. So uh, from now on, Jade has to uh, pause it every time I want to film because YouTube are on to me with Pretty Little Liars and I don't even watch it. Oh, it's, it's missing out. Fuming. Season five just hit. Ooh. Jade is flying through it. I am not overly into it, so I might actually watch some Netflix on the laptop, maybe, if that's okay. Um, but we'll see. Obviously, gonna be snicky snacking first. 
It's absolutely one of them days, you know. <laughs> that recovering from night shifts feel. Blanket. Chill. Oody! Of course. And waiting on Boris's blooming announcement. Just want to know if I can go on holiday, to be honest. Not internationally. Yeah, but any holiday will do. I'll go to the UK. To the UK. I'll stay in the UK. It's absolutely fine. Come on, Boris. Help us out. Give us what we want. So, a little um, update for you. We were both literally lying down. Snug as bog in a rug. Both about to go to sleep. Jade said she's bored. And I was like, all right, let's take this wallpaper off then. And she was like, what? And do Then do what? I was like, I don't know. But let's just take it down because we know we don't want it. So then now here we are, look, ladders. I've messaged my brother to go and pick up his steamer. Obviously he's going to leave it on the doorstep. We're yeah, social distance, of course. Um, and now we're looking at wood to DIY our own panelling. So we've gone from half asleep to now working out measurements and everything, measuring the wall, looking at different types of wood we need. It's... 20 past four, the day's taking a bit of a turn, an unexpected one, but this is literally me and Jade to a T, isn't it, Jade? We'll probably start it tonight. Yeah, like, <laughs> I'll update it and you'll be like, oh yeah, I've finished panelling, wallpaper's off, wood's stuck down. It'll literally be like midnight, we won't have had any dinner, and um, yeah, it's just that I'd update you, let you know what's cracking off. Watch this space. Could be another transformation, we've had my eyebrows, we've had the garden. I don't know what people fucking made the money. I mean, I'm sorry, I just swore again. Yeah, the lounge. But we're not, we're not, we're certainly not. We're not made of money, no. We just, we'll when we have ideas and we want things doing, we just kind of do them, don't we? If they're affordable. Yeah, we save up for it, don't we? Like, we work hard. No, you don't have to explain yourself either. I feel like I do. You don't. If it's an affordable option that we can do, then we'll do it. Also. If we can get it done. We love a good of... Bit what, of DIYing. What I want to know from your viewers is nothing to do with DIY. Does any viewer have an accent? Because we were having a conversation about accents, weren't we, the other day? And I, I don't think we have an accent, but Lucy seems to think we do. So, does any viewer have an accent? Not that I don't accent? think we do, but I think we don't sound like we have an accent because we know what we sound like. And it's not a noticeable one like a Liverpool one or a Scottish one. I think we sound different on your video. I think if you were to watch the videos back, we sound, as in I sound different to you, I, I sound. Oh. So if you watch our videos back, then... But it's interesting if the viewers commented on if they recognise our accent and they could work out where we're from. Because we haven't actually said where we're from, so I wonder if it's somewhere that, if I, if you think we have an accent, can they work it out? Because it's not a noticeable one. We don't have a noticeable accent that people go, oh yeah, you're definitely from yeah, here. Yeah, I, I don't think we do. All right, comment below, guys. Let us know your thoughts. That's what I was, we were talking about yesterday. We were talking about it yesterday, yeah. Let us know your thoughts, guys. So, here we are, once again, in the car. Yes, this is the same day, going to be in queue. Stay tuned, guys, for some um, decorating vlogs, I guess. Because <laughs> they're coming. We are just going for a look, but me and Jake can never go for a look. We do love a good DIY project, though, don't we? We like to prove that we can do things ourselves yeah because we're going to get a company to do it but i do think to myself like no i'm, I'm, I'm a very hands-on person yeah we don't like to feel defeated like we tried to do the garden ourselves weren't happy with it so then we've got somebody out so we can always get somebody out if we don't like it can't we mm -hmm. so yeah just trying to be positive you know we've got to be and it looks like we can't do anything social until April. yeah we're still in lockdown for a bit longer by the sounds of it so we need something to do while we're off work to be fair we um did all our decorating last year and now we want to redecorate just come out of being q they didn't actually have what we wanted so um we've come out empty handed which for us it's probably a good thing because we would have gone gungo brought it all and just kind of gone into it we don't really think that much so it's we probably do? a blessing in disguise that we didn't actually they didn't actually have it right jade yes and no it would have been good to be allowed to go in and see what we wanted, yeah. but they didn't have it. So, at least it gives us time to think on, and Jade's really good at thinking, but she's a bit late to it. So maybe if we leave her a <laughs> bit of time, she'll come up with some good ideas, so. Just on the way to get the steamer now from my brother's house, and 
we'll crack on getting rid of some wallpaper. I am, however, going to be ordering a coriander on the way home to pick up. Are we still doing that? So, you know, every cloud has a silver lining. We've come out. Saved us all some money. Not and now we're spending money, money on an Indian. <laughs> <laughs> Just picked up the steamer. Just went to order the coriander to pick up on the way home. Go on, Jay, tell him. It's not even open. We're absolutely gutted. It's shot on a Monday and we didn't know. For now, we're like, what do we do? We're just not having a very good day, really, are we? I suggest the Domino's. Yeah, I do suggest the Domino's. I mean, I'm going for Domino's. We'll update you soon what we decide. We've got Domino's. Yes. It's not quite coriander, but wait a second. We did compromise, yes, so. Right, talk, guys. Gotta go get PJs on, have a wee, eat some pizza. So we basically went for the same as what we had last time, if you watched the video where we had it, where we first tried it. So we've got the chick ain't and the veggie supreme and some vegan nuggets. We didn't go for the wedges because they're never that nice. They're always a bit hard and a bit undercooked. So, I won't bother showing it here, you've seen it before, but yeah. Can't wait. See you soon. So, obviously we had Domino's and um, something crazy's just happened to be honest. Right? Right? <laughs> right? Right? Eat it all. We've got two slices left of two medium pizzas and some vegan nuggets. They're all gone. Nuggies are. Yeah, no, yeah, they're all gone. That's how nice Domino's vegan pizzas are. We never eat all of pizzas, do we? No, we're absolutely starving, though, weren't we? Can't believe it. I actually feel really. Is it weird that I feel proud? <laughs> yeah. But I do. And I'm not like, I'm not like, oh just feel so proud right now. Um, I hope you're proud of me, Mum. <laughs> I hope you're watching this and you're a, and you're a proud mum right now. Because I'm just feeling so good. But yes, um, on the way home, Jade was like, oh, have you ever watched Walking Dead? I was like, no, it's not really my thing. Um, I've, it's never really appealed to me. She was like, all right. I was like... But don't worry, I'll watch one episode with you. We'll start from the beginning and I'll see how we go. <laughs> We're 23 minutes into the first episode and I've just seen now that it's an hour and nine minutes long. Yeah, they're about an hour each. And I must say, I was right, it's not my thing, you know? Yeah, but it's the same way. Sometimes you just gotta listen to yourself. You know, like, I know me, I know myself. And it ain't my thing. And it ain't my thing. Too gruesome. There's too much potential for it to be scary as well. But yeah, like I say, it's just not my thing. Still moving the hoodie. I'm still moving the blanket. <laughs> yeah, okay, Hannah. Oh, Do you want to talk about it? So much to move. Do you want to talk about it or? No, Alright then. I've just come over all achy all of a sudden, so um, this absolute devil of a girlfriend <laughs> has made me my hot water bottle. The best hot water bottle in the world! To resume the walking dead. I think it'll be going off in uh, 20 minutes. By 8 o'clock we think it'll be off. <laughs> uh, and the usual evening retreat. Retreat, I don't know if that's the right word. Evening, chill time. Cup of tea. Oh, Kendall. Cup of tea. And Jade, Jade, stop being so aggressive on camera. She's getting angry at Kendall because she just. Anyway, if you haven't tried these coconut macaroons yet, then. Seriously, what are you doing with your life? These are the thing of dreams. I tell you. 
get on them that's so freaking good candles running around the house like a crazy person Uh, Gary's just lying down in the kitchen. Why does he keep lying down in the kitchen? I don't know. Maybe we're going to sleep around the kitchen soon. True. Maybe to all the guys. What? Gary's new spot? Yeah. What? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> wow, Kendall. Good morning. It is Tuesday, the 23rd. 23rd. Um, I totally didn't actually say goodbye to you. <laughs> Last night. We just kind of went up, didn't we? Yeah, we were both. Actually, we didn't. We went to go up. Yeah, so we both went a bit tired and we're like, well, let's go to bed. And then me over here. Normally it's Jade actually, so she can't actually comment or judge me because normally it's her. But basically, we went to, before we went to bed, I just kind of got a bit carried away seeing how easy the wallpaper would come off. Looks like it's um, definitely coming off now because um, I've just made the biggest rip ever. So yeah, um, I was like, oh, I hope you actually did want the uh, wallpaper to come down, Jade. <laughs> oh well. So yes, I think we might be stripping it today, not sure, see how we feel. I'll let you know. I think I'm gonna actually have another bacon sandwich that I had yesterday because it was so good. So I'm gonna make that, I think. And then, um, yeah, like I say, might be stripping the wallpaper, might not. I'll let you know. So, Jade has had to go into work for a couple of hours today. Um, so I thought, let's try this wallpaper steaming malarkey, shall we? This is gonna go one of two ways. Oh, hey, Kendall. <coughs> it's going to go one of two ways. Uh, it's either going to go really, really well, and I'm going to be like, woo, and I'll be done by the time she gets back, or it's going to absolutely fail. I've never used a steamer before. I've only ever taken wallpaper down twice. Um, and never by myself. Um, I like to try these kind of things by myself sometimes, just to prove that I can do it. I think sometimes I just assume that I can't, and I doubt myself. So let's give it a try, shall we? Wish me luck. <laughs> Don't know how you work in steamer, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> so I filled it with water. Here's all my tubes and hoses and stuff. Jack's given it to me really clean. Like, wow. Um, now I just don't really know what I'm doing. So this, I'm assuming plugs in at here. That's in. And then I'm guessing we plug that in. And I'm guessing this goes in here. Probably shouldn't have turned it on till I attached the hose, but hey ho. You live and you learn. So that's on. And then I'm guessing this attached onto here. Yeah, we'll try that. Just need two hands for it. <laughs> now I assume we wait for steam to come out. All plugged in, all attached. Just need to get my scraper. Ignore that wind noise. Just shut the window. So you may or may not have guessed by the look on my face. I've buggered up. We literally only just started as well. Look, this is literally all I've done out of this whole warm. And look. What has happened? Loving life right now. 
I'm absolutely fuming. Jade's trying to be nice about it, telling me she's not annoyed at me, but she totally is. And that's fine, because I would be. Can't believe it. Now on the hunt to find a pasta, right? Woo! Okay, Jade is now home. We've just finished off. It's about, what is it now, five o'clock? Yes. Five o'clock. Five hours later, one breakdown later, and ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Oh, phone. We are done. Just that little patch up there we need to fill in. And the whole wall is wallpaper free. Whew. Nice bump. Done. You know that feeling after you've like decorated or done something like that? You have that perfect nice shower where you just completely refresh yourself, put on new pyjamas, moisturise your face, you just feel brand new. Feel so good right now, it's half five. We're going to crack on with some dinner. Jade's absolutely buzzing for this one. We have harissa hummus, roasted veg and frique salad. I mean, to me, it looks scrumptious. To Jade, she's like, what is that? That devil hummus. So yeah, Jade doesn't like hummus, so she's gonna cook up some chips, I think, to have on the side. Um, which is absolutely fine. And I have tried hummus for all these people out there that have, before they say, you tried it, you never have to try. I have tried it and hated it. This is a homemade one, so I'm gonna get her to try that actually as well. But we're gonna make her some chips just to keep her happy. I forgot to get the old chicken burgers out in that side. Yeah, we were going to get the chicken burgers out to defrost and have that with it. But we forgot and they need to defrost in, so... We're going to cook up some chips. It's one or the other, it's not both. So, um, yeah, we'll see you when it's ready. And here we have our hummus, freaky salad and chips. And Jade's absolute mountain of rocket. <laughs> and she oh yeah she actually agreed to have some hummus she quite liked this one the homemade one so that's an absolute win and we may or may not have um set this on fire again we don't know what's happening we keep doing it now and it's a bit worrying <laughs> i'm laughing but i'm crying inside so yeah we had the baking tray up in flames we don't know how though because it wasn't even near any plate. Yeah, it wasn't even near it really. So yeah, love it. Gonna enjoy this now, it looks amazing. Well that is absolutely delicious! <laughs> did you enjoy it? I did, yeah, it was lovely. I only had a little bit of the hummus. Yeah. But I, I think that was enough for you. Yeah, I was I'll say before we um made the video well, before you had done it that. I think it's just like the tub hummus and not very keen. She prefers the homemade stuff and that's okay. Which means I can make homemade hummus. I think how easy it is to make. I made it before. Oh, have you? Yeah, it's just obviously it's easy to buy in the tub, isn't it? Yeah, true. But yeah, dinner was really, really nice. It's a really good recipe that was. Um, the only thing is, is obviously the hummus uses raw garlic. Did it? And all I can taste is garlic. Because I had literally like three quarters of it. So all I can taste is raw garlic, so um, that's really downside, but apart from that, delicious. Now we're just on um, host seasons looking for somewhere to go on holiday. <coughs> when we can, of course. We've got very broad. We're just trying to decide where to go. So at the minute we've got Lincolnshire. And we've got the Isle of Wight, so quite different. <laughs> Comment below if you've been to either and if you recommend. Um, yeah, we're struggling a bit really. We like we like both of these like parks that we've found, so we're just not sure which to go for. One of them's like a really cool, quirky like pod with like an upstairs and a downstairs, and then another's kind of like a really like luxury upmarket caravan. So once again, two very different places and two very different accommodations, so. Help us out, guys. Just not sure. Okay, then. Oh, so, Jay's just about to set the land on fire. 
Honestly, I'm a bit nervous for us this evening. Mm -hmm. I feel like we should probably just go to bed <laughs> and just, you know, wait for tomorrow to be over because Jay's just went to light the candle with the matches. Nearly blooming. Set fire to the lounge. Oh. It's one of them days, you know? It's, uh... Now we're just trying to figure out what to do with this wall, trying to figure out where to go on holiday. <sighs> making my lunch for tomorrow, making some pasta. And um gonna chill on the sofa, I think, aren't we? Till we have to go to bed. Yeah. Depending on how we feel, I might have some more of that sticky toffee pudding because oh, it's so definitely, good. Definitely gonna have a Jade's gonna have a deliciously yellow brownie. And I'm gonna be extra tired tomorrow. Anna. Yeah. Back to me old job. Yeah, Jack's back. Jack. Jack. Jade's back on shift with me tomorrow. So you'll always see Jade now because we're always going to have the same days off together. Look at you guys. Woo! So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it here tonight. Um, just because I want to edit and I just want to chill out. Hope that's okay. Um, for some reason I've ended up doing two days worth of filming for you here. So hope it's not just a load of rubbish. I feel like it is. I feel like I'm going to be editing this thinking. <laughs> what even is this day okay. what even is this day so yeah hope you do enjoy it and like I said at the start hit me up with any ideas of videos, challenges etc you'd like to see me and Jade do or just me do or just Jade do um, and comment below if you've ever been to the Isle of Wight we don't know anyone we don't think that's been to the Isle of Wight so that's why we're a bit unsure about booking that because we've never been so we don't know what to expect so comment below if you've been before or if you live there, even better. Um, and if you live in Lincolnshire, I guess, that also has helped. But we have been there before, so. Yeah, I've got a friend who lives in Lincoln. So, yeah, let us know. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd super appreciate it. Hopefully a bit more fun content come in uh, <laughs> as we carry on decorating the house. Um, as lockdown eases, I guess. You know, we've got that news now. A bit of something for us all to look forward to if you're from the UK. And yeah. See you later. See ya. Kendall says bye. <laughs> See ya.